What's up guys, welcome back to Life of Acro. I'm Acro Brandon and this is my life. I know it's been a while since we've made a video, but today we're gonna talk about how to build or really quickly set up a backdrop setup for photo or video. Now, more importantly, there are tons of videos online where you can figure out all the details and they have step-by-step, -step, but what none of the videos have done that I've been able to accomplish is how to use Home Depot 1.75 inch conduit tubing with these uh, rollers right here. And that's what we're actually gonna talk about today. Let's take a look at it. So if you're interested in photo video like I am, I've always been into it. Uh, I finally have enough space to where I could set up a little bit of a backdrop, try and take my photo or video skills to the next level. Then you start looking at how to get a really good backdrop in your house. Now, if you look online, whether it's on Amazon or eBay or anything else, uh, all the information is about the same. All the materials are about the same if you're on a budget. You could buy a kit for, I don't know, 75 to 100 bucks where you've got the stands that go up and you got a little bar that goes across and then you put a little muslin fabric uh, backdrop up on there. Sometimes they have like little printed ones that are 3D print. Now, if you want something that's gonna really work and have no seams whatsoever, you're gonna be looking at seamless paper and they come in a variety of different sizes from two to three feet up to 10 feet. So the wider you are, the more space you're gonna have to put a subject on there without having to worry about editing and so much, things like that. I just so happen to have enough space right here behind me as you can see, and I got a 108 inch piece of paper. Uh, so we're gonna look at that. So if you watch all the different videos out there, there's a couple different ways to go about it. Uh, if you wanna do it the, the right, right way, you can get a three piece aluminum set uh, that links together, it's 10 feet, and it will fit this right inside of it perfectly, okay? Uh, other people have used two inch uh, pieces of uh, conduit tubing here, and then you take the piece of paper off and you roll it on top. So let's talk about what the issues are. So the main issue is if you have a big roll of paper like this up here, you don't wanna keep it on the cardboard tube by itself with a flimsy piece of metal because eventually the cardboard will sag and you're gonna have this drooping action. Now, here's where the problem comes, is if you go to Home Depot, you can get yourself a piece of 1.75, which fits perfectly inside the hole, but this part doesn't fit. So then you think, okay, well maybe I can get the two inch to fit, which it does. So then you take the two inch tube, this slides inside perfectly, you're like, boom, we're in business, but the two inch pipe is too fat for the cardboard roll, okay? So the, it's the, out, uh, the OD of the two inch tube is too wide to fit inside of the tube on the paper roll. So if you get the aluminum one, it's only like 50 bucks online. Uh, so they figured it out, it's two inches actually, so this slides inside, but it's the OD outside is a little bit thinner, so it just fits inside perfectly. So when I was watching it, and I'll put a link to the video, is what the guy does, is he keeps it just like this, and then he wraps some of the non-stick uh, slip mat that you put on, you know, in the shelves and your counter and stuff like that, around here, so that when this expands, it squeezes on the inside, and then when you roll the thing, right, everything works perfectly but that's $60. So for me, I was still looking for a new solution because a 1.75 inch conduit tubing at 10 feet at Home Depot only costs you $20, okay? Uh, for me, I only had nine feet of space, so I had to get a little bit crafty and use a cutoff wheel to cut a foot, about a foot's worth of uh, conduit off. So if you don't have those tools accessible to you and you don't have more than 10 feet av available, you might wanna get ready to get some cutting done. The same thing though, even if you buy that proper two inch aluminum three piece and you only have nine feet, you're still gonna end up cutting off of a foot. So as I started looking at the construction of the roller here, I was wondering like why? How can we not make this happen, right? This is just the same size as right here and you can't actually get the cone inside. And I was thinking to myself, what if I just took the end piece off? Would it still work? And it does. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna get into this part right here. You're gonna start to unscrew this, okay? That didn't work so good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little end cone, it's a spreader, right? So as you tighten the end part right here, 
Yeah, the two cones start to squeeze in, this expands, and that's what typically expands and holds inside of the piece of tubing. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna get a little MacGyver with this, really not too much, okay? DIY status. You're gonna unscrew the end here. Everything starts to come apart. You start to pull the rod out, right? Here's all the little components, okay? It'll spread over, you're gonna go over the top there, yay, boom. Now we've gotten to this part right here, nice and easy. You're gonna work this out right here, boom. Done with that. Then we start to come back and reassemble. Everything will be fine. If you wanted to put a little piece of tape over the nut right here so it doesn't move, you can. I don't think it's going to. I don't remember because it's been a few months since I did this. But you'll just put this piece right back in here. This part comes right back over the top, okay? And then you have this and you put this right back here, okay? So now we're ready to rock, right? At the end of the day, you take this, it slides perfectly inside. Okay, so then as you start to tighten it, and let's see if it works, I don't remember, I think it does. Yep, boom, just like that, voila, okay? So, we've got this, it works inside, yeah, so then when you start to use the chain, it'll start to rotate. However, because this is 1.75 tube, and the, con uh, the cardboard tube on the roll of paper is two inches, we have a quarter inch that we need to gap, okay? So what I did is I got this all set up and ready, okay? And as I start to slide the tube inside of the cardboard into the roll of paper, as I start to get towards the end right here, now I'm gonna wrap this outer part of tube with the non-skid stuff and then shove it straight up in there and that's gonna make a really nice seal and it's non-slip, okay? That's the quick, easy solution and let's take a look right now at how this works based off of this entire bit right here. And for the moment of truth, down we go. Voila. And then back up. And that, my friends, is the solution that you might be looking for on how to use a $20 piece of Home Depot conduit tubing and getting it to mount inside of the roll of paper so you don't need to spend $50, $60 on a setup. Once again, this is Life of Acro. I'm Acro Brandon, and this is my life. If you like what you saw, hit subscribe, leave a comment, or anything else. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.